Bell Labs was a researcher's nirvana. I joined this fledgling group called the Computing Science Research Center. This collection of people ended up having a profound impact on the field of computer science. Computing is a worldwide fellowship. I think you were referring to Unix. Unix was really created as an educational vehicle. There was no security in the first versions of Unix. The open source software community on the outside has really focused on Unix for their open source offerings. Linux and the GNU compiler collection, these are some of the premier open source software systems. You were involved in some of the early research in the core of computer science, the foundations, the kind of things that are now in textbooks. What are the next frontiers? Computer science is poised to have even more impact on the world at large than it has up to this point. What kinds of algorithms and data structures does the human brain use to process information? We're making enormous progress in applying uh, computer science ideas, computer science algorithms to areas like genomics, doing sequence alignment. I think these kinds of questions become approachable through the use of algorithms, computer science techniques, um, data mining techniques, but most importantly, it's going to be a collaboration with biologists. Today, uh, there's a multi-billion dollar industry that's involved in building tools for constructing classical computers. There is a new style of quantum computing that's being investigated called topological quantum computing. Programming the topological quantum computers becomes a job for topology. We're computing braids in space-time. 